Why, hello everyone and welcome to this Angelic Creations TV pick a card reading. I'm so enjoying these pick a card um, readings that now I'm going to do more basically for you because you requested them and because people are asking about different questions. So if you can't have a one-to-one -one reading with me personally, this is the next best thing. Pick a card on um, YouTube. Um, obviously, it's more powerful and more personal and we can go, go into deeper um, meanings and um, specific advice for your situation if you come for a reading um, privately with me. But if you can't, um, if money's tight, if, you know, for whatever reason you can't have a reading with me personally, this is the next best thing. So welcome. If you're new to my channel, please um, feel welcome to the Angelic Creations family. Do claim your free gift on my website because when you sign up, you get a free gift, all you newbies. So that's www.angelic-creations.net and you'll receive the five spiritual principles to living a great life. Yay. Um, in your email inbox, as well as my newsletters with lots of news, goodies, articles, gifts, treats, metaphysical and spiritual um conversations and videos and all sorts of wonderful things and um, I've got a shop as well so um if you're a returning subscriber returning client watcher hello my friends um love you guys miss you thank you so much for um, watching my videos and supporting me it really means a lot to me so um if you haven't hit subscribe yet please subscribe because it means a lot to me it means that um the more people who subscribe means that my videos get seen more and um you know i don't have to work so hard <laughs> it's so hard to be seen on youtube nowadays and social media you've got to have the engagement so it really helps me out and also if you like this video click like at the end but anyway let's get to the reading this one is um was suggested to me um by someone and it is basically how can i improve my financial situation okay so if you've got some money issues at the moment this is a good reading to sort of look at where your blocks are and how we can help you to um, bring more money into your life so how can I improve my financial situation? How can I bring more money into my life? Yay! So we're going to use the Thelema, ta Thelema Tarot deck, um, which is my newest deck, which I absolutely love and adore. So I'm looking forward to working with these. As well as I've got the, the money cards, oh, Harmony Prosperity cards, which I bought when I was training my Helio Life training many years ago in San Diego. So this is a really nice affirmation and advice at the end of the reading that I'll give to each one of you. And we've also got citrine here, the, the stone of abundance. So um, I'm wearing my citrine jewellery here, lovely, lovely, and my citrine ring, which normally sparkles a little bit more silver, but I haven't had time to um, to polish that. So anyway, it's, uh, it's going to match the, the Lima deck for today because it's dark. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm going to move these out of the way until the end. Um, all the citrine having a nice jumble there and here we are let us shuffle the cards it's hard to get the angle right on this oh sorry I thought I wasn't recording for a second I'm trying to get the angle right on this it's Really hard because if I go there, you can't see. I'm just do my best to shuffle whilst embracing the camera. If only you could see the other side. Well, <laughs> the other side of yeah, the spiritual realm, but also the other side of the camera where I'm sort of in a very hunched, weird position. <laughs> it's comedy at the moment. So shuffling. Sorry. As we're shuffling. Why don't I give you a moment to just focus on your question, focus on your financial situation and um, yeah, focus on, you know, the money aspect, the financial side of your life. your cards. I'm now going to put them here. Let's see if we can see them all. That's 
five cards today. That's what I've been instructed. Five beautiful cards. Let's give them all a citrine. There you go. So these are your cards for today, guys. Have a little look. I'll zoom out. Oops, that's not very good. Let's do that. Okay, that's the best. Have a look at those. Meditate on your question. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. Pick a card now. And the question is, how can I improve my financial situation? Or what do I need to know about my finances? Or how can I bring more money into my life? Okay, so I hope you've picked your card because now I'm going to turn them over and let's have a look at what the cards are saying to you. Okay, number one. The justice card hmm okay this is a big and juicy a lot to this so basically there are some legal issues or financial issues that you that is blocking your financial abundance from coming in it's blocking the money coming in because basically you haven't um been attending to this very important practical side of life so what's coming to mind is have you done your tax returns? Have you, yeah, that's really important, very important. Have you done that? Have you balanced your books? Are you really messy with your bookkeeping? Um, I know it's boring because we're all spiritual people and, and usually, not all, but usually are kind, <laughs> um, are very good with the sort of higher dimension stuff, but not so good with the practical side of things. You know what I mean? So this is this is the, the bit where we have to be kind of a little bit, bit more grounded, a little bit more in the world. So have you done your taxes? Have you balanced your books? Is there a legal situation going on that you really need to take um, into account? <laughs> Play on words there, account, see what I did? Um, but yeah, is there something you need to do legally? Are there some papers to sign? Is there a contract that you need to look at? Um, on the positive side, talking about contracts, this could mean that a contract is coming in. So a new contract, a new job, new paperwork to be signed. So that's very exciting. And the feather there, you know, lightheartedness in the heart. This is stuff that, you know, a contract to do with something you really enjoy, something that's from the heart, something that you love, um, something that you have passion for. So that's really great. Okay. I'm going to just leave that there for you for a second because actually I just need a tissue. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so I have my tissues here. Look, I always have tissues when I have clients. They always sit on my healing room desk because my reading room, excuse me, because, you know, people usually cry during a reading, whether it's because I've touched on something very, very personal and sensitive or because they're really happy and the emotions are just flowing. Or, you know, I've had a few people just come into my room and just burst into tears straight away and we haven't even started. So powerful is the energy of this work. It's just beautiful. And especially when my energy is really pure and when I'm, you know, completely connected to the divine, like in a really conscious way because I've meditated, I'm really pure and cleansed and really positive thoughts, not judging anybody. Um, yeah, people can feel that. And so we have a very strong connection, very strong, accurate readings. Um, yeah, so coming back to this card, my number ones, uh, this is a very important card. It's a major arcana card. It's a number 11 as well. So that might be um, a significant number to you. Maybe there's, I don't know, it's, we're talking about finances here. So the number 11 might be a good omen for you. If you're doing the lottery, for example, number 11, there you go. If you win the lottery because of this reading, please give me a cut, a <laughs> commission. <laughs> I, I half joke, but yeah. Yeah, if you're feeling generous, please donate. There is a donate button on my YouTube channel. Buy me a cup of coffee, please. Um, but yeah, this card, justice, also, of course, if we look at the word justice, it's saying that justice will be done. So if you've been playing your cards right, if you've been honest, if you have... Um, 
if you're going through a court case or anything like that, just know that, um, you know, everything is in balance. It's a card of balance and everything's going to be fine if you've played the game right. If you've been honest yourself, there's nothing to worry about because it's a card of karma. Um, if, however, you have been dishonest and, you know, yeah, if you've been dishonest and not straight up, then, OK, justice is coming to balance the books. So um, just be prepared for that. Pray on that. Ask for support if you're worried. Um, and don't worry too much because karma, as well as coming to balance the books, you know, there's also compassion there. If you're going to repent for your sins or if you're going to, yeah, uh, it's an opportunity to fix things on your end. Just fix it your end. OK, um, but yeah, if you haven't done your taxes, go do them now. If things are in disarray, your receipts and everything, go do them now because this is what this card is saying for you. So there you go, number ones. Good luck with that. That's a big card to get, but important. So there you go. Next card we've got, number two. Da, da, da. We have the five of wands. OK, so... As you can see, there's five ones there in the savannah, um, and they are in a pentagram shape. And there's a storm brewing in the background. And also, as you can see, there's like energy in the middle, so a spark of creation there. So in terms of finances, they've been a bit stormy for you, and things have been in disharmony and disarray. So it feels like there's a very cluttered, disorganized energy. It might be worth you, you know I love decluttering, Declutter your home, declutter your space, declutter your accounts, declutter your, you know, if you've got your bookkeeping, keep it, make it more simplified. Just declutter anything that's that's in disarray. OK, organize and declutter. But you've got the spark of creativity here. So there's some energy there that is wanting to come out, but is being hindered by all the clutter and chaos surrounding it. So, um, yeah, this is saying that what's blocking your finances and money coming to you is is basically this disarray. Get organized, guys. My number twos. OK, so that's quite a, a nice fix. It's kind of easy to do because you can you can do it around your home and do it. You know, it's very practical. Do it with your finances. Get more organized. Um, are you putting things away every month? Savings I'm talking about. Are you organized with your banking system? You know, or do you have... I don't know if people still get checks. I oh actually I do. I, I got checked today, so yeah. Um, even though it's less common now, but are you uh, putting your checks in as soon as you receive them? For example, or are you just letting them get lost <laughs> with all your other mail and stuff around the house? Okay. So there's a lot of confusion and disarray and disorganized energy there. So that's an easy fix. Number twos. Um, if you've got too much confusion, simplify your life basically. Okay. Um, and also there's like too many hands in the pot, too much interference from different people. It's like you can ask people for advice, but you know, at the end of the day, follow your own advice, your own intuition, what feels right for you, because sometimes you can, you can ask for too many, um, thoughts and that it becomes crowded and disorganized and confused and it can confuse you further. OK, but basically this is about organisation and simplicity. So I would go with that. And yeah, let me know in the comments how you how that's affected you um, once you've simplified and got organised. And in fact, in the justice things, everyone, basically everyone, please comment and let me know um, how accurate this reading was for you, if it helped. Um, and did it make sense later or now? <laughs> OK, so there you go. Number twos. There's your little stone. There you go. Number three, Ta -da! you have the seven of wands, look at that. So basically the seven of wands, there's a lady there guarding a temple behind her. Um, and she's very serious about defending this because there's the other six wands here, um, which indicates a battle is about to ensue. So, okay, have you got too many arguments going on around you so much con confrontation are there people that you need to make peace with in your life because even though we're looking at a financial situation here um, things like having arguments and disagreements with others um, petty quarrels or whatever um, it, that can affect other areas of your life 
right? So even if it's a lover you're having an argument with, it can affect your finances because everything is connected, okay? Everything is energy and everything is connected. So the fact that this card has come up for you, my number um, threes, says that, you know, you, you're being very defensive at the moment. And maybe you are right. Maybe this other person is doing you wrong. Um, or maybe not. You know, that's something to look into and meditate on. But in any case, we need to drop this um, defensive energy. You still defend yourself, yes. But, you know, there's a saying in A Course in Miracles that every defense is an attack. So every time you defend yourself, you're actually attacking the other person. It's too... This is too deep a concept to go into in the scope, you know, with the time that we've got with this reading. But if you're interested in all that other sort of life coaching work, um, yeah, join my newsletters because I, I could talk about that or we could do it in a workshop um, and get deeper. Um, yeah, have a deeper ex explanation. Um, but for this, you know, it's 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 warning you about being too defensive sometimes. But on the other hand, also, it is saying maybe you need to defend an idea. What's coming to my mind now is copyright and trademark. Maybe you have a very important idea, some um, invention or creation that you want to bring to the world. You know, the fact that she's standing outside the temple here, she's guarding a very important secret, something sacred. You've also got the number seven, that is a sacred spiritual number. So maybe you've got some spiritual work going on there. Maybe you've got, or anything else, it doesn't have to be spiritual, it could be practical. Uh, as an idea that you've thought of that you want to bring to the world, you want to protect that, okay? I've just watched Joy um, in the Jennifer Lawrence film, and I didn't know anything about what it was about, but it was exactly what I wanted to watch because I'm I'm creating some stuff at the moment. And um, yeah, she had her idea, sort of a copyright issue in there, and she won in the end, which of course is wonderful because um, it's a true story and this lady does exist. Um, and she created the Miracle Mop. So it's a really good film and a really interesting story, but it was um, it's a good reminder about, you know, protecting your work, making sure the copyright's there. Okay, um, the other thing I was saying, it's a spiritual thing. Um, so this could be about protecting yourself spiritually, making sure that if you are in the spiritual business, or even if it's not a business, you're just doing it for fun, you are protecting yourself. You're grounding your energy, you're connecting to the highest vibration, the purest, positive, beautiful, um, divine vibration, and protecting yourself from lower energies that might want to come in once you've opened the door door there um, and I'm talking about the door to the other side to the spirit realm also the door into your chakras into you so you want to protect your energy guys always protect always say a prayer always invoke Archangel Michael and your spirit guides and angels and only those spirit guides and angels from the highest vibration of divine love and light those that's the expression that I always use that I made up that you know whenever I do a reading or anything that's the first thing I do for myself and for my clients and for the people I live with and the animals that I live with and my home, the space that I'm in. Okay, um, talking about the home as well. This could be about your home, protecting your home and all that. But yeah, this needs to be done in order to bring more money into your life. All those things I, I spoke about um, because maybe you're not moving forward with an idea because you, you don't know how to protect it. So you're afraid of other people um, having to battle with other people and that. Um, so yeah, do your research, basically. Do your research and then bring that idea into the world because you've got some good ideas there and that could make you a lot of money. It could be lucrative. And there's nothing wrong with making money, by the way, doing things you love. Why should an artist or a spiritual person, because I hear this argument all the time, why should we give away our gifts for free um, just because it's of an artistic nature and we enjoy it and we love it while we're doing it rather than say an accountant or someone in a, in a more normal and I put that in hyphens there normal job um, you know we expect them to get paid a doctor to get paid for their expertise we expect all these people to get paid um, they may love their job they may not but why why is it one rule for one and one for the other um, okay so if you are an artistic person um or even if you're not and you just really, really enjoy your job, there might be some guilt there about making money because you don't feel like you're working. Well, let me tell you this. The fact that you have passion for what you do means you're meant to be doing it and you got it right, okay? Because that's what the divine wants for us. The divine, we planned with the divine a life purpose, a life mission, 
And if you're fulfilling it, then that means that you are having a great time, you're enjoying your life and you're living your passion. So you're doing the right thing. So you should be making money from it, right? Okay, I could go on and on, but I've got the other cards to get on to. So I hope you enjoyed that message, number threes. Take that on board and tell me how that goes with you. Number four. Seven of Cups, another seven. So like some of the things I spoke about in the number three reading um, will pertain to you in, in terms of the spiritual number and all the spiritual stuff I was talking about there. So please refer back to this. I don't have to repeat myself. Um, but for you, number four, is th this is major confusion. Okay. Too many choices going on for you. And how lucky are you? You know, maybe you have lots of opportunities there's a lot of activity, a lot of things are coming to you right now. You're in demand. That's great. But at the same time, you're sitting there confused because and scattered. It's like, where do I put my energy now? What's the best path? Which one's going to bring me the most success and money? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? So you have to sit there and meditate on it because all these choices, you know, some are good, some are bad. What have you got here? You've got the Dove of Peace. That might be a good path to go down. But for you, which is the Dove of Peace solution? Is it path A or B or, you know, whatever choices you've got there? You've got to meditate on that. You've got the Dragon. You've got, what is that? Flowers. You have, and shrubs here. And then you've got um, a hooded uh, man, which in the Thelema deck indicates, you know, mortality. That's really important because you want to remember that, you know, Although as spirit, we are infinite. We are mortal beings as well. So we are going to die. Don't want to be morbid, but that is true. So you want to be living your best life, living your passions now. So do it now. <laughs> There's no time to waste. Okay. And you've got the castle there. Again, protection that we were talking about before. And then you've got the snake here, temptation. So this might seem appealing as a choice, but it's uh, it's kind of not good for you. OK, so meditate on all your choices. And yeah, this this card is telling you you have lots of choices because you've brought them to you. That's very good of you. Very lucky. But at the same time, you really need to um, go within and meditate on the right choice. And a good way to do that. I mean, I will probably put a meditation up so that you can do this if you like listening to guided meditations. Um and I've been told that people like my voice. So I will create some audio for you, my loves, uh, or maybe a video on some of these things that I'm talking about to help you out. But the number seven of cups is very much go within, find some clarity, maybe go outside to go within, meaning go into nature. Because look at this person, they're sitting by the banks of a of the river or the sea or a lake, there's trees there. Sorry, guys, we had a, I had a visitor <laughs> um, at the door, so I just had to pause that for a second. But we're back. We're back from outer space. Seven of Cups. Um, just finishing this off and just saying, yep, you've got lots of ideas, lots of choices there. And in order to pick the right one for your abundance and your financial, uh, uh, all the money coming into you, you need to go into your heart so that you pick the right path, the right opportunity, the right job, whatever it is that's happening for you. Um, meditate, guys, basically. Meditate, go into your heart. And um, yeah, take, take a moment to find out what it is you truly want and truly deserve. Okay, so that's my number fours. Well done. Number five, last but not least, you have the three of wands. Lovely. And in this card, this is the Thelema Tarot again. Um, you've got a flock of birds overhead with an amber sky. A ship is coming into land and there's a figure on the shore looking out. This is an elder figure um, with the three wands there. And basically anticipating the ship coming in so for you guys your ship is coming in how exciting is that basically this is saying you know you're at the first stage of completion it's number three and it's saying that your skills your talents your job your work whatever it is that you've put out there you're you're now about to receive the reward for that okay 
um, it's your ship coming in. There's that expression about the ship coming in, isn't there? So basically, you know, be excited, anticipate that, be grateful even before it's happened. You can be grateful and thank the universe already because that will accelerate it coming to you too. And it's also about um, the idea of a ship. It's about exploring the world. It's exploration. So it's telling you to be more daring and explore your ideas, explore the world, maybe physically, maybe your opportunities elsewhere. Um, and it's about daydreaming, you know, because you've got ideas that are emerging and that want to come through. And what's going to help that is to daydream even more. You know, we think in our society nowadays, modern society, we think that daydreaming is a bad thing. Um, they say that at school, you know, stop daydreaming. But actually, it's a good thing if you are bringing those daydreams into reality, into the physical world, because you're dreaming about things that you love and enjoy. Um, in that sense, is a good thing, right? So this is saying that there are ideas emerging or wanting to emerge to help you become more abundant and prosperous and successful and to help bring that money in. And maybe there's a creative solution to whatever is going on with you. So again, uh, meditation would be good. Daydreaming would be good. Engaging things that you enjoy would be good because you tend to daydream when you're doing that. You lose track of time, those kind of things. You know, whatever it is for you. Put it in the comments, guys. How do you like to, um, to daydream? How do you like to sort of... Um, get your ideas and inspiration. But yeah, this for this is a nice card to get because it means your ship is coming in. You have put some work out there and some of the rewards, sorry, some of the rewards are about to come back to you in the form of money and um, better financial situation. So there you are, guys. Um, sometimes I speak really quickly because usually I'm doing this because it's the only pocket of time that I've got. Um, and <laughs> my husband and daughter went to the post office just now. So I was like, I'm going to do a quick reading while they're gone. It's silent. <laughs> and then my father came and visited randomly. So there you go. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I'm going to now give you a bonus card each. All right. So here, should we just lay them one on top of the other? Yeah. So here's one, two, three, four and five. Right. And I'll just read them for you. These are the prosperity cards by Harmony. And number one, so you have is your affirmation for your money situation. I easily dissolve limiting beliefs and see myself as I really am. Okay, if you keep repeating these affirmations are statements that you repeat in order for it to go into your aura, your energy, your psyche, your mind, and it, it the more you do it, the more it becomes real and becomes a belief system for you. So repetition is key. Okay, and then here it says, it is time to challenge old messages and belief systems. The thoughts you have that are limiting are a result of environmental conditioning. Let go of any ideas that keep you from being, doing or having what you want. So there you go, my number ones. That with your justice card. Da -da -da. Actually, there. Okay. <laughs> and then number twos. Oh, number twos have two cards. Oh, dear. Okay, let's read them both. I have the power to create all the money I need. And it says, It is important to let go of any fears you have about money or bills. When you worry about your bills, you give away your power. Trust that you have within you the power to create all the money you could ever want or need. Okay, and then your bonus card, number twos. I love and accept myself. Self-love and self-acceptance have no substitute. The more you love yourself, the more riches you will accept into your life. Outer actions will be futile unless you love yourself enough to receive your blessings. And there you go, number twos. Number three... I am a forgiving person. Oh, that matches that, doesn't it? Because we were talking about being defenseless. Yeah, you know, let me just show you that. Is it being defenseless card? Number three. Forgiving is being defenseless, right? Okay. Prosperity requires the ability to forgive. When you refuse to forgive, you hurt yourself most of all. Grudges and resentments block the flow of abundance into your life. Choose to forgive on a daily basis. I am a forgiving person. 
Okay, number fours. I go within and focus on what I want to create. Oh, this is matching. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's wonderful when that happens. See, we were talking about going within, meditating on the choices. And what do you want to create out of all this? Brilliant. When a worry thought arises, use it as a signal to go within and focus on the new reality you are creating for yourself. Reclaim your personal power by releasing the worry thought and replacing it with a positive affirmation. You create your circumstances by the thoughts you repeatedly think. And there you go. That's number four. And number five is doing what I love serves others. Selfless service is the highest form of work. It is best accomplished by doing what you love and bringing it into the world for the benefit and enjoyment of others. There you go, my number fives. So there are all your cards, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's pick a reading. Pick a card, I mean. Um, yeah, and they're all your beautiful cards in all their glory with the citrine to give you some extra abundance and good luck. And I wish you good luck and good fortune. This is Renee from Angelic Creations. Please do watch more of my videos. Um, I've got lots of, and, and I will have lots of pick a card readings, but I've got lots of other readings, a pick a reading um, that you can, um, that will tell you about your life situation. Um, so do like this video if you liked it. Share it with your friends and family if you think they'll benefit from it and need some an extra boost today, need some happiness, give them a gift um, and then you know, it's nice because you'll receive a gift as well in form of karma. Um, and also subscribe to my channel, please. The more on board, the, the happier, the better. Um, and also YouTube are currently changing their, their guidelines, their laws. So um, because I'm currently under a thousand subscribers because I don't know, I'm not good with this stuff. I'm still learning <laughs> as I go, you know, the whole social media thing. But um, apparently there's, the law changes it it's demonetized if you're under um a thousand subscribers or something which isn't really fair for small um channels like mine but anyway whether it's demonetized or not I'd, i would love to have more of you on board especially um the people who say that they watch all my videos all the time subscribe um and yeah and comment and like this video as well because that all helps too and please do feel free to have your free gift from me the five spiritual principles to living a great life and that's if you put your if you join my mailing list and put your email in my um, website sign up form which is www.angelic-creations.net okay guys have a great weekend it's nearly the weekend here have a great day have a great week um, and put your hands together maybe do it this way Oop. hands together namaste guys namaste Lots of love to you. Let me know how this video went, how it, how you enjoyed it, whether it made sense to you or not. Bye. <laughs>